Hey, what's happening, everybody? Pizza Beats back at you with another video, another non-spoiler movie review on Deadpool 2. Now, I am going to apologize because this movie review was a long overdue one. I know the movie's been out for a while, but it, I didn't really have a chance to go watch it until this point with my family. So now I'm finally able to do this movie review for you guys. It's a non-spoiler movie review, so let's get right into it. So, um, anyways, uh, the movie was directed by David Litch. Uh, the gross revenue was over $710.40 USD, and uh, the production companies was obviously 20th Century Fox and Marvel in association with Marvel Entertainment. Screenwriters were Ryan Reynolds, and who happens to also be Deadpool. Uh, this is his third reprisal as Deadpool. Unless uh, unless you don't want to count the X-Men Origins Wolverine Deadpool, then this would be a second time. This is the second uh, Deadpool movie in the Deadpool franchise. And the cast members are Ryan Reynolds, Deadpool. We got Thanos as Cable, Josh Brolin. Uh, we got Marina Baccarin as Vanessa. Julian Dennison as Fire Fist. And Zazie Betts as Domino. And that's just some of the cast members. Uh, the movie scored over 82% on Rotten Tomatoes. And IMED had 8.1 out of 10. And Metacritic had 66. Uh, my overall score for this movie is a 8 out of 10. Uh, you know, it's, it, it, there's a lot of movies that I like. Especially with Deadpool. Um, Deadpool 2 was way better than the first one. I actually, for the first one, I had... Kind of like a 6 out of 10 for that because, you know, the first one wasn't really that great in my opinion. But, you know, the second one was a lot more funnier, had a lot more characters in it, and the story was pretty funny. And I, I, I actually like this one better. Um, a lot of uh, breaking the fourth wall moments in this one more than the first one. And uh, I really loved that. And the uh, actors in it were amazing. Uh, I liked uh, Zazie Betts' portrayal of Domino and Josh Brolin's Cable. Apparently 2018 is the year of Josh Brolin. I mean, he had some pretty big moments this year. As Thanos in Infinity War, he had Sicario. Um, yeah, just a lot of different moments for him. So this is his year. So Thanos and Cable... Two of the most mar uh, iconic Marvel characters, man. It's pretty impressive. Uh, Ryan Reynolds was even more funnier in this movie as Deadpool. I gotta admit that. I mean, like... I, I just like Deadpool 2 more than the first one. And I think a lot of people would agree with me. And, uh... Yeah, it's just the comedy was amazing. So, a brief description of the movie. Non-spoiler description is... After surviving a near-fatal uh, bovine attack, a disfigured cafeteria chef, Wade Wilson struggles to fulfill his dream of becoming Mar Mayberry's hottest bartender while also learning to cope with his lost sense of taste. Searching to regain his spice for life as well as flux capacitor, Wade must battle ninjas, the Yakuza, and a pack of sexually aggressive uh, canines as he j journeys around the world to discover the importance of family, friendship, and flavor. Finding a new test, uh, taste, not test, for adventure and earning the COVID coveted coffee mug title of world's best lover. That's literally what the description is, uh, from 20th Century Fox. So, I'm not making this up. If you literally look it up, that's what it says. I might have pronounced some things wrong, so apologies for my bad grammar. But yeah, I would give this movie an 8 out of 10, and uh, I really love this movie. And also, uh, you know, it, 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 it's just, I don't know what else to say. I mean, it was a really, really good uh, Deadpool sequel, and it felt more like a Deadpool movie. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.